So I told you guys last week that for my 1500 subscriber giveaway video, it was gonna be a theme of my wife's top five fall fragrances. But then I kind of thought about it and it dawned on me that I wasn't going to be giving away five fragrances that my wife loves because I'm going to be wearing them and it was kind of a stupid idea. So now that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. So again, my wife picked out five fragrances from my collection um, that are her favorite for the fall season. And so in this video, I'm going to be reviewing all five of those. Without further ado, let's get it. <laughs> What's up my dudes welcome back to my channel this is randy aka fragrance dude back with another fragrance video if you are new to my channel please subscribe if you uh, do like my content also consider uh, to follow me on instagram and tiktok under the same name and if you are a returning subscriber please like comment and hit the bell for future notifications if you do like my content and want to get my videos sooner uh, so again, uh, my wife, a lot of people keep asking me to get my wife on the channel and she's not really one that likes to be on video. She doesn't even like to be taking pictures of. She said if we ever get to 5,000 subscribers, she'll definitely do it. But at this point in time, this is the best that you're going to get. Five fragrances that she pulled from my collection that are her all-time favorites. A lot of them you guys might uh, think, oh yeah, that's definitely one that he likes. Or another ones that you might be like, oh, wow, I'm surprised that that was one of her favorites. Um, but I'm just going to get straight into it uh, with the first one, which is the only, yeah, the only niche on this list by Killian. It is Killian Angel Share, which is probably in my top one or two fragrances for the fall and winter, probably in my top five all time fragrances. Beautiful, freaking amazing fragrance. It's sweet. It's warm. It's spicy. It's amazing. It's a spice and meat ball. I like this fragrance. I like it a lot. I want to drink it. It looks like a drink. Bottle's really cool. It looks like it's like crystallized whiskey glass. But anyway, Killian Angel Share. Beautiful fragrance. And the main notes that you get in it are cognac, cinnamon, vanilla, and sandalwood. There's a lot of other shit going on in it. But overall, Killian Angel Share is warm it's spicy it's uh nice and drinky you can drink it uh no it's <laughs> it's it's like a boozy drink uh that is warm spicy ambery it's sweet um it's almost like if you took a warm apple pie took out the apple and turned it into a drink uh it has a little bit of this like cognac booziness to it that really does set it apart from other fragrances that are trying to either emulate it or are in the same category uh, so you do still get that ambery, you still get that sweetness, you still get that spice, but then you also have that booze on top, and it feels very natural, it feels uh, very realistic. Um, it is one of the best fragrances I've ever tried, and I just hate that it comes in a 50 mil, because you run out of it very quickly. Uh, it does project very heavily for the first like four hours, and then it lasts about 10. Angel Share is a beautiful fragrance. One that if you haven't got your nose on, at least get a decant of it. I've sent decants to about six or seven people already from what I had left of my refill. But Angel Share, you can find it on Joma, Joma Shop and other places like that. And also on Lucky Scent, use Gen Sense Gen 10 code. And you can get it for like 180 bucks. 180 bucks. But it's still for the small price. Uh, for the large price, it's a small bottle, but it's definitely worth it if you like this type of fragrance. So that's her number five. These are in order, by the way. Uh, number four is by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Uh, it was one of her first favorite fragrances that I've had in my collection for fall. For a while, she wasn't loving all of them, but this one she really did take a liking to, which is why I have a 6.8 ounce bottle of it. It is by Jean-Paul Gaultier. It is Ultra Mall. It's so big that I have to hold it back. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael, please. Please. Um, but naked lady bottle with the stripes. Um, that's what we call it. We call it the naked lady bottle. Even though it's not a lady, it's obviously a man with a dong, but whatever. Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Malt. The main notes that you get in it are pear, lavender, vanilla, and mint. There's also citrus and woods in it, like bergamot and stuff like that. But for the most part, what I said is what you need to know. You need to know that there is pear in the opening with a little bit of bergamot giving a bit of freshness, but then that kind of dissipates and you do not have a fresh fragrance anymore. This fragrance is more of a fall and winter fragrance as well. But again, it's a fall fragrance that um, 
all of these are, but you can wear it into the winter and spring as well. Uh, only for date nights. I only would say this is more of like your clubbing fragrance, going out date night fragrance. That pear is sweet. You also do get that vanilla in there, some tonka bean really coming in, and then also have lavender and mint mixing in there, giving it like a little bit of a green, um, also slightly herbal, and uh, but not really florally or anything like that. And it's just kind of in the background, giving it some nice aromatics. And then you move that way into the dry down, you get a little bit of woods coming in. Outside of that, the fragrance is just sweet. It is a beast mode projector. It's a well above average for the first four hours. It lasts about eight to 10 hours. Ultra Malt is a beautiful fragrance. That's why everybody knows it. I don't know why I always smell these. You can't smell them often because it dries. But Ultra Malt, if you like sweet fragrances, it's a bit more youthful than it is um, masculine or mature. But with that said, I like my youthful fragrances from time to time and as does my wife. It smells amazing. Anything that's similar, if you guys don't want to spend the full price on this, you can get off now 9 p.m. It's just a little bit of a fresher take on the Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Mail, which is a beautiful fragrance. So that's number four on her list. So number three on the list is going to be a discontinued fragrance. And normally I don't put those on my list, but because this is still readily available for around $100 or less, which is what an average retail price for a fragrance goes for, it's just this line usually releases them at cheaper costs. I put it on this list because my wife loves it. I've liked the original since I was like 12. And so this is just a deeper, warmer, heavier take on it and just better overall by Hugo Boss. It is Boss Bottled and 10 Soda Parfum. I have a bigger version of this on the way. I spent $78 on that and 53 on this. So if you do find it on eBay, you can find it for a good price. Uh, it's a warm, spicy cinnamon fragrance, and the main notes you get in Boss Bottled and Tense are apple, cinnamon, vanilla, and sandalwood. There's also a big difference in the opening between the Boss Bottle and this one because there is a bit of orange blossom in there. Uh, I say big difference, but honestly, I mean a little baby difference. If you know what the original Boss Bottle smells like, this one smells almost identical to that one. It's just deeper, it's darker, it has a little bit of more of a spice from that cinnamon and the cloves. And then again, you get a little bit of this orange blossom in there, but it's more of a fall take on the original, which the original is like an all year round. It's that apple pie that you know from the DNA. It's sweet, it's a little gourmand, it's just overall just a banging fragrance. This one, the original last, it used to last eight hours, then it lasted six, then it lasted three. They reformulated it to death. So this one, it takes it back to that seven hours. You get this about six to seven hours on this and you get about above average projection for the first hour and a half. Then it kind of turns into a personal bubble. So it is better than the original as far as that is concerned. But overall, it's just a better overall fragrance when you get to the dry down. And I mean the far dry down. It doesn't change that much. You just get some vanilla coming in and some sandalwood giving it this like creamy vanilla mixture. Again, mixing with that cinnamon, giving it that whole apple vibe, apple cinnamon pie. Really good. Boss Bottle and Intense. She loves it. I love it. I'm going to continue to buy it until it's no longer available. So this is where we kind of get into the ones that you are one. This is this one uh, that you guys wouldn't be that you're probably going to be surprised that are, that's on this list because it's not talked about enough. I'm, I can't even fucking speak right now. But anyway, this is by Muggler. It is Amen Ultimate. So I know all the rest of them ones are discontinued. This, the reason I brought this up is because my wife doesn't really like Pure Havan. She doesn't really like pure malt. She liked pure Tonka, but I don't have a bottle of that anymore. And pure, Amen Pure, um, <laughs> Amen Ultimate. I, I, I can't talk. Uh, Amen Ultimate is still and has always been her favorite from the line and one of her favorite fragrances. So the main notes you get from this are cappuccino, balsam fir, bergamot, and cedar. And they call it like a woody coffee fragrance, but it's more like a woody cappuccino fragrance. And it's more of like a cappuccino woody fragrance. Um, overall, if you like the smell of like a cappuccino, uh, it's sweet like that vanillic coffee. Um, it's pretty much what it smells like. It is, yeah, it's freaking banging. So when you first spray it on, you do get a little bit of this uh, bergamot in there to give it a little bit of this freshness mixed and then about literally 10 seconds in, that cappuccino vibe really starts to pick up. 
Um, it does push out really well above average for the first like two to three hours. And that's why my wife loves this is because not only does it smell like cappuccino and like a cologne cappuccino, but also it projects to the point where she can smell it across the room. Uh, Amen Ultimate is vastly underrated. It is a super underrated fragrance and I don't know why I didn't put this on my underrated fragrance list, but I love it. She loves it. It lasts about seven hours, maybe six, somewhere in that vicinity. Um, but overall, and people say they don't like the bottles or the sprayers. The sprayer is more like a mist. And while it's sometimes hard to spray, I, I don't mind it. The bottles are really freaking cool. And if you can ever find them, definitely get them. If you like the smell of cappuccino, you're going to like this. You also do get some balsam fir and cedar woods coming in, but really never become too prominent until about two hours into the fragrance when it's already dissipated a bit. But you're still left with that cappuccino. It's sweet. It's coffee. It's just more overall just... It feels like you would be walking into a 7-Eleven smelling a cappuccino. Uh, it's really a nice, really, really nice fragrance. Uh, so, yeah, that's Amen Ultimate. Definitely worth a pickup. And it's only $43 on Nordstrom Rack right now. So definitely go out and buy that if you haven't tried it. I think it is worth a blind buy. If you like cappuccino or the smell of cappuccino, it's what it smells like. Going into the last one, this is never going to be a shock. This is pretty much what made me start my collection going from 20 bottles to 200 and some. Um, I got it from a biz agent site, which is one of my survey sites. And from then on in, I just never looked back. And it's pretty much my favorite line now of fragrances, as you guys know. And this is her favorite fragrance out of every fragrance that I own, including Freshies. This is her favorite. By Azaro, it is Wanted by Night. So the main notes you get in Wanted by Night are cinnamon, fruits, mandarin, orange, and vanilla, while there is a bunch of other shit in there. There's like woods, amber wood, tobacco, and brocks, and all that good stuff. The main thing you need to know is this is a cinnamon fruity fragrance uh, with woods in the background. So in the opening, you get a lot of spice, you get that cinnamon, you get some fruity accords, some mandarin orange, but in the opening, it's more of that cinnamon and mandarin orange. As you get further into the fragrance, that cinnamon really never dissipates, but the mandarin orange does. As the fruity accords kind of come out, but it never becomes too fruity. It's more of like a warm, spicy fragrance with a little backbone of fruits. And then once you get into the dry down, you get a little bit of like a tobacco-ness in there, a little bit of leather, and then also some woods coming in. Um, it's just a really freaking good fragrance. Uh, the first time I smelled it, I didn't like it, and that was a long time ago. And then I sprayed it again. I was like, I don't know why I didn't like this the first time. And now I, I think this is my fourth bottle. Um, it is absolutely amazing. If you ever smelled fall and you wanted it in a bottle, this is what it is. It's going to be the best non-gourmand fragrance that puts you in the fall mood. And I'm not even kidding. It attracts everybody. Women absolutely love this fragrance. And you can buy it for freaking like 30 bucks, something like that. Bottle looks freaking cool as hell. It's a conversation starter. Women love it. I love it. Men usually dig it. I, I think, I don't know what's wrong with people if they don't have this fragrance in their, in their collection. Unless you don't like cinnamon, this fragrance just is freaking amazing. Uh, there's not really much else to say about it. If you like good fragrances, then go fucking get this. But anyway, uh, Wanted by Night. That is a spicy, fruity, woody fragrance through and through. Has a bit of other facets mixed in there, but I don't want to confuse you. It's just a damn good fragrance. So that's my wife's five favorites, and I love all five. They're probably in my top ten as well. Um, yeah, there's really none here that I wouldn't put in my top ten. Even Amen Ultimate. I'm telling you, this is the underdog story right here. I, I, all of the other ones, I could always people will say they're all great, but I don't hear this one talked about nearly enough. I don't care how long it's been out. It's fantastic. But yeah, guys, thank you so much. Uh, also, give a shout out to my wife below. Let me know what you think about her picks. Um, roast her if you don't like them. Uh, or say thank you to my wife, Jen. Her name is Jen. She's a really nice person and she loves my fragrances and she supports the habit. So thank you guys so much. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll be back with another one. Peace out.